Welcome to the Guitar Manifesto channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about um, beginners buy new gear. Um, I get asked a lot in the comments below um, from guitars I'm reviewing, what would you recommend for a beginner, what amps would you recommend, um, what pedals and etc. So today I thought I'd do a bit of online shopping with you guys and show you if I was to start out playing again the sort of gear that I would buy as a uh, new beginner guitarist, so let's get to it. We've clicked onto music stores, so in the UK um, we've got Gear for Music, we've got Roadhouse Music, Andertons, uh, Dawson's, there's also G G &K, uh Rimmers Music, PMT, I also quite like using uh, Rich Tone Music. So for the purposes of today's video I'm going to actually go with Andertons. Because a lot of people like that channel and they do have some nice gear as well and they are quite nice people. So, first thing I'm going to start off is electric guitars. So when you're starting out playing guitar, um, again a lot of people ask what's the best one for a, a beginner. Um, usually I'm preference to sort of a, a Jaguar or a Jazzmaster, um, Offsets, Mustangs. Um, but the only trouble with them with beginners is they're quite hard to set up, they've got their own vibrato system so unless you're sort of experienced they can go out of tune pretty easy so um, I probably would say go with maybe um, a Telecaster guitar for starting out with um, so I think we'll go for Squires because obviously you don't really want to spend a lot of money on a first guitar um, I'll go lowest price first so uh, with Squire models, uh, you start off with a bullet model, which is the entry level, um, and then you go up to the affinity model, then you sort of head towards the uh, contemporaries, which are really nice guitars, uh, then the classic vibes, they're more expensive, much better finish, and you feel like you're playing a, a sort of Fender guitar. But if you just want to try out playing guitar, um, I probably wouldn't spend a lot. Personally, I would go with the affinity model over the bullet, the fit and finish is a little better um, and it just, uh, which, which will make it easier to play in a way, the, the frets will be smoother it, 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 you know, it make you want to play a bit more so we'll probably look at the uh, affinity model, so you're looking around £179, they do come in quite a few different colours in terms of colours, obviously it's your choice uh, you can go with a maple neck or uh, Indian laurel which is sort of the new um, equivalent to rosewood after these new laws where they've banned rosewood on guitars uh, currently. Um, so which colour should we go for? I reckon we're going to go for this Affinity Tele in competition orange. I've had one of these before so I'll put a link up uh, in the corner now and I'll also put a link in the description to see the review of that guitar. Um, yeah, so £179 including that free delivery. So these are 25.5 inch scale um, so it's sort of your standard sort of strap Telecaster scale length that's your, your distance between your nut and the, the saddles it's got an all the body polyurethane finish to it C-shaped profile neck which is nice and comfortable in the hands 21 frets um, I do believe these come with 9 gauge strings which is a nice uh, slinky string so good for bending and things like that so yeah I'd go with one of these I think I'll add that to the to the basket for now ok so I want to check out I want to carry on shopping so the next thing you want to look at um, is amplifiers uh, where have they put them electric guitar amplifiers uh, for a So they put them into categories as valve amps, solid state amps, um, modeling amps, practice amps, there's all sorts of different styles. So valve amps, personally, if you're just sort of starting out, you, you may want to avoid them because they, they work best when they're fully cranked up. I'll probably go with a solid state amp if I was um, starting out myself. Um, I'd go for a combo amp. So that's the all the controls and the speaker sort of in one unit. And there's plenty to choose from. Got Fender, Boss, um, Blackstar, plenty of good mates. Um, so if you're just playing at home, I'd 
personally I wouldn't go with the, like the, the mini amps personally I'd, I'd want something a bit bigger that I could possibly buy and then later down the line if I want to start gigging in a band I want something that's good to go um, so I haven't got to buy more equipment later down the line so um, my personal preference if I was to buy my first sort of amp is get a bus katana now you've got the, the, the 50 watt which is plenty loud enough if you want to play in a band but they also have a um, I forget what they call it now. Um, it's like a low volume mode where you can drop. Yeah, so you can drop it down to 0.5 watts. So if you just want to play in your bedroom, so instead of upsetting your parents and whatever, you can turn it down to the low power mode. So it has a really nice, clear, clean channel. Um, it's got a crunch. There's all sorts of different settings on this as well. Built-in effects, delays, reverbs, all that sort of thing. So personally, I would go with one of these. As my preference, so I'd add that to car. These are £190 including VAT with free shipping, so we'll add that as well. But again, there's other variables. There's um, the Fender Champion 100, um, Black Star, there's all sorts of other amps. The Marshall Code 50, that's another good little amp. But personally, if it's me going out as a beginner, I would go for the Bus Katana. So next, we'll go on to. Um, pedals. Now with the Boss Katana you can have plenty of effects built into that. What I tend to do with amplifiers is just use the clean channel and if I want distortion I'll get a pedal. So if we're playing in a band or you're playing to your favourite song where it's got a clean part you want to quickly flip to distortion you've got a pedal there just to stomp it on. Um, again the Katana's got built in delay, reverb which you can have switched on so I probably if I start now I wouldn't bother with sort of maybe delays and reverbs just now. Um, if you just want a basic, you know, straight out of the box, get your playing sound, I, I personally would just go with a distortion pedal. So there's plenty to choose from. You've got overdrive, which is just a bit of crunch, fuzz, which is pure, sort of, as it says, fuzzy goodness. Um, personally, I like distortion. Um, so we're a bit beyond, uh, a bit beyond the overdrive pedals. Okay, overdrive and distortion pedals. So distortion gives you that nice mix between just a bit of crunch and a bit of fuzz, somewhere in between. So um, again, there's plenty to choose from. Rats always a good one. These are nice old school pedals. Um, let me just click on. So we'll go with say 25 to 50 pounds bracket. Um, so we've got Tone City, these are sort of nano pedals, these are really small. Um, dark Matter, Distortion, I've had one of these before, they're really good pedals, nice big distortion tone to it. Mojo is more of a bit of a crunchy overdrive. I think the classic for me would be a DS1 or a DS2, if I've got them down a further on the list, probably a bit further down. But the DS1 will be a bit cheaper than the uh, DS2 basically does the same job, get the same sort of sound. Um, these are £47, famously used by John Frusciante, Kurt Cobain and many others. These are built to last. You can run these off an AC adapter or a 9 volt battery. So straight out of the box, you just they usually come with a brand new battery in them so you're good to go. So I'm going to go for one of them. So that one's £47, delivery before 99 but I think if you're buying with other stuff it should be free, so we'll add that one to the car. Okay, so, so far we've got the guitar, the amp, the pedal. Um, again, you can buy other pedals if you want to experiment, um, but this would be me personally. I would go for this sort of setup. Um, so, next thing you're going to need um, are guitar lead cables. So, let's have a little look. So, if you're playing at home, you're probably only going to need about a um, 3 meter length cable, so you've got 3 meters, which is about what 10 foot. Um, if you're playing on stage, maybe you want a 5 meter cable, um, so obviously it's preference what your situation is going to be, so I'd probably go with a 3 meter and a 5 meter, so you can have the, if you need a longer cable going from the pedal to your amplifier which will be at the back of the stage 
you may need a longer one, so yeah, we'll get one of each. Um, let's go price to low to high. Personally, I like fender cables, that's my preference. Let's just look. So you've got 10 foot, 3 meter, and you've got 5 foot. Uh, I do though, like a matching colour, so that's definitely blue. These new fender ones are nice colours, they're sort of the colours of the guitar surf green, fiesta red. So let's go for let's go for this uh, surf green. That's actually pretty cool. May clash a bit with the orange bouquets. It's all rock and roll. So yeah, three meter cable, ten foot. So that'd be going from the guitar to the pedal. Let's add that one to the car. Okay, and then I want to get a five meter cable to go from the pedal to the amplifier. That's 4.5 metres, so that'll be enough. That's £10. So let's add that. Okay, so the next thing I reckon you're going to need to buy is a guitar tuner. Um, there's a few options really. You can buy the little standalone um, units where you plug a guitar lead into. You can have the ones that clip onto the headstock, they're called clip on tuners, or you can have like a, a pedal tuner. So we'll have a look at them now, because uh, guitar accessories. So doo -doo -doo, we've got guitar tuners and metronomes. Um, so me personally, if I'm playing at home, I like to use the, the little clip-on tuners. If I'm playing in a band, I prefer a, a pedal tuner. So you can use a clip-on for both. I just find the pedal ones are easier for playing live, but um, if I was starting out again, I'd probably just go with a little clip-on tuner if I'm honest. Um, these Snark ones are good, I've had these before. Um, the pedal tuners, I generally go for the these chromatic bus ones, the TC electronic ones are pretty decent as well, the poly tunes, but there's so many different types now. These are the little standalone ones I was on about, uh, the strobe tuners. So personally, I would go for one of these Snark tuners, $14.99. Again, you can just clip them on your headstock. Um, you can use them on your acoustics. If you're going to be buying an acoustic and electric, you can just swap them around at home. It's easier. Again, I've got one of these, and yeah. So we'll add that to cart. So I guess the next bit of gear we'd need to buy is plectrums. So let's go back to accessories, guitar plectrums. So there's so many different types of plectrums, there's different gauges, different types of material, there's ones with little um, sort of indents on them so you can grip them better. They're, they're personally the ones I like, the um, Jim Dunlop ones, but you, you can see there's loads of different types. So something I'd probably recommend for new players is get like a variety pack like this where it has a mixture of all the different uh, types of plectrums. This is what I did when I first started playing just bought a mix and then try them all out and then eventually you sort of decide you know which one suits you best so I'll probably go one of them that's six pound twenty nine and there's all sorts of different ones in there uh, they're all different thicknesses uh, one point fourteen millimeters we've got one mil and then it goes into 0 0.96 0 0.69 and these are the ones with the grips on them uh, these are my personal favorite I used a 0 0.73 millimeter Jim Dunlop uh, I think they're called Easy Grip, but they're the ones I'd go for. So let's add that one to cart. And I think that's pretty much um, good to go for now. That's what we got. Let's have a look at the basket. So we've got a Squire Affinity Telecaster guitar. Um, again, it's preferences. These have got single coil pickups. Um, you could go for a guitar with humbuckers if that's your thing, for that bigger rock sound. Um, but yeah, for this video, I've gone for the Squire Affinity Tele. I've gone for the Bus Katana Ramp. That's £190. Um, good for practicing, good for starting out, and you can gig with it, it's loud enough. Most music venues you play at nowadays have a PA system that you can mic up your amps to anyway. So 50 amp, a 50 watt amp is. Um, Definitely more than enough. So I've gone for that Boss DS1 distortion pedal. 
that's £47. And then two cables, a 3 meter and a 5 meter, that's 8 99 and 9 99 for the little clip-on snipe tuner. Again, later down the line, if you've got a bit more money, um, you could get the, um, the pedal tuner. But then you'll need a little patch cable to go in between uh, the pedals in the signal chain. And patch cables are probably about three to five pound. And then we have the little variety pack of plectrums, 12 in a pack. Um, another alternative for the plectrums, if you go into a guitar shop, they normally have them all out on the counter, all the different trays, maybe just fill them and try a few out and see what works for you. So that totals up to around £456.26. Um, a couple other things I'd probably recommend getting are you'll want a guitar stand instead of leaning your guitar up against the, the wall or something and damaging the neck. So I'd probably, I'd probably go with a guitar stand. These are pretty cheap. Um, yeah, something like this will work fine. I use these myself, 11 99 We'll add one of them to the cart as well. And they sort of fold up when you're not using them if you want them out of the way. Or if you want to take them to your, um, if you're playing in a band, you've got a show, you can take them to your gigs with you. Keep your guitar safe on stage, so we'll add that to the cart as well. So in terms of the, the gig bags and what have you, you can get the hard cases, which I sort of recommend personally. You can get the gig bags, but I just find the hard cases, you know your guitar's sort of safe. Um, so as you can see, there's plenty to choose from. Uh, I personally would probably go with something along the lines of these sort of cases there. Nice heavy duty, you know your guitar's going to be safe. And da -da -da. So it fits S style, which is Stratcaster style guitars and Telecaster style guitars, so that would be ideal. And there's normally a little storage compartment in there to put cables in and plectrums when you start playing in a band. So again, this is something you can get a little bit later down the line. It's not essential when you first start playing out, but we'll stick that to the cart now. So with the case and the stand added, the case is probably not essential for starting off, but if you want to get one a little bit down the line, something like that would be ideal. Uh, again, I recommend getting a stand. So with all that, we're looking around £537 for a an actual pretty decent little kit there. So this little setup would be sort of perfect for starting out, got everything you need and I would pretty much gig with that little setup as well if I was to be honest. Again I'll maybe change the tuner but you can still get where we use one of them on stage, I've used them before and yeah I think we're pretty good. So for £537.25p including free shipping at Anderton's um, you've got a set that's gonna so we get you started and get you gigging. So that pretty much covers it um, for all you beginners out there. I hope you found this video useful. If, if you've enjoyed it, please give the a video a thumbs up. Um, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel because I'll be doing plenty more videos like this. Any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll be sure to give her a reply. So please follow me on Instagram and Facebook, The Guitar Manifesto. Again, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. So that'll wrap up for today. Thanks for watching. See you all soon. Peace out.